Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Epic Ranky Arena, where we test the skills of every single insane mob in Minecraft. On one side of the arena, we have the zombie army. If we get close to them, we can hear their screams. There are so many of them. This army has more than 500 zombies that will rip your skin apart. And on the other side of the arena, we have our two mutants. Enderman warriors, each with 200 HP. And they are like Endermen that are 10, no, 100 times stronger. Will these two mutant Enderman warriors be able to face off over 500 zombies at once? Let's find out. Server, bring down the walls! And oh my goodness, the mutant Endermen are in, and the zombies are already surrounding them like crazy. But oh my god, the Endermen are literally splitting into two. Wait, there's three Endermen. No, there's four Endermen. Wait, am I seeing things right now? And they're picking up the blocks and throwing them at all the zombies. Oh my god, this Enderman is having a little face off and that zombie didn't stand a chance. And oh my god, look how many, look how many zombies are there, but the Endermen are not budging. This Enderman hasn't even lost half of its health and neither has this L Enderman. Oh my god, guys, I have a feeling that the Enderman might have an edge on this one. And yes, oh my god, am I seeing this? It almost like the Endermen are creating illusions. And oh my god, wait, there's a hole in the arena. This is not good. But it looks like the Endermen are still fairly healthy while the zombies are being completely wiped out by the mutant Endermen. Like the way the Endermen are throwing the blocks at the zombies, the zombies aren't standing a single chance. Guys, what the flip? The silverfish have joined in. Someone broke through the arena and oh my god, it's literally just pandemonium right now. Where's the Endermen at? Oh my god, he has four blocks in his hand and he's not done yet. He's literally finishing off every mob that is in its sight. And oh my goodness, what is going on right now? There's still so many zombies, but guys, look how much health the Endermen still have. I don't think the zombies are standing a single chance. And yeah, there's another face-off going on here between the two mutant Endermen, and the zombies aren't doing anything. Come on, Mr. Enderman, show us your coolest moves. And oh my god, why are there so many silverfish on the ground? That's so disgusting. Hey, this is a battle between Endermen and zombies, not silverfish. Come on. On. Oh, and oh my god, look at these illusion endermen that are being created by the mutant endermen. This is so cool. And neither the silverfish or zombies stand a chance against the mutant endermen. And I have a feeling there's still two left. Yep, there's one right here and there's another one right over there. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's too many zombies that are left over. It's just a bunch of silverfish. And oh my god, what the heck? That enderman is literally screaming. Wait, hold on. Did it just stop time for a second? That is so crazy. I think when the Enderman screams, it can stop time momentarily and clear everything in its path. And oh my god, yes, it's going for the remaining zombies, and they don't stand a chance against the mutant Enderman. They're so strong. And there's just a couple more zombies left. And oh my god, this one's screaming too. And guys, see, look, when he screams, time is literally stopped. None of the mobs are moving. And yes, time has started to flow again. And the zombies are pretty much done for. It's just a bunch of silverfish. And yeah, guys, most of the zombies have been wiped out and our two mutant endermen are still going healthily. Where did they go? This, there's the other one. And just like that, the mutant mobs win the first round and they completely wrecked our arena while they were at it. This is so insane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to round two of Ranky's Epic Battles. For this round, on one side, we will have an army of not 500, but 700 zombified piglins. And to match the pig energy, on the other side, we have two mutant hoglins. Will the army of hoglins be able to hunt down the mutant hoglins? Let's find out. Alright, server, bring down the walls. And the walls are down, and the hoglins and pigmies are already in battle. And oh my god, look how quickly the mutant hoglins health is going down. It has to do some sort of special move, and oh my god, what was that? It just did a seismic slam, and it killed every zombified piglin in the area. But oh no, one of the hoglins are already down and so is the other one. And you know what guys? I feel like that fight went a little too fast. So let's spawn in two more mutant hoglins and check out what happens. Alright, if we're not wrong, pigmen should be going after the hoglins. And yes, there they are. They're hit. Which means the battle has already started. Come on hoglins, you guys got this. There's still plenty of hoglins left. So it's gonna be a close battle. And oh 
Oh my god, yes, they're already heading this way. And the mutant hoglins already took a ton of damage. But come on, Pligans, you guys need to work together to kill the hoglins. Ugh. Come on, mutant hoglins. Come on, there's literally a group of piglins right there. And yes, I think this one's about to fight them. Wait, no, it just passed by. And hey, you gotta go after someone. What are you guys doing? Come on, you guys need to fight him. And oh my goodness, the hoglin literally just finished off all of those piglins. No flipping way. But guys, in theory, the piglins did end up winning this battle because we had to add two extra mutant hoglins in order to even get close to finishing them. And that shows just how powerful the piglins can be if they work together. All right, time for round three. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, for round three, we have three mutant zombies. Look at how bulky and muscular they have. Going up against an army of skeletons with their bows. Who do you guys think will win? An army of over a hundred skeletons or three mutant muscular bulky zombie guys? Well, it's time to find out. Server, bring down the walls and the walls are down and the zombies are shooting at the mutant zombies like crazy. Their heart, their health is going down so quickly, but the zombies are no pushovers. Look at them, they're jumping up in the air and they're creating seismic slams on the skeleton. Oh my god, but this zombie is already gonna die. Oh no, come on mutant zombie, you got this. And oh no, wait, that one's, that one's screaming and I think it's about to die. Oh no, this zombie's dead. And no, all of the zombies died at once, no flipping way. But wait, hold on, are they standing back up after losing all their health? There's no way that's happening. Oh my god, I can't believe it, guys. The mutant zombies are literally unkillable. Even if you take down all of its health, it literally just stays stand right back up and come on oh my god the zombies just pounding the skeletons apart and it even summoned its own zombies friends to help out and come on let's go zombie you got this buddy and oh my god talk smash and guys i think Think. Yeah, after that scream, the skeletons are pretty much all gone. And oh my god, the zombies are so angry that they're even breaking the arena apart. No, don't break my arena. Oh my god, that is so annoying. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last skeleton. And there he goes. Yeah, just like that, guys. The mutant zombies take this one out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fourth round of the mob battle. On one side, we're gonna have... Three mutant creepers, look how beastly they look. And on the other side, it's getting a little hot here because we have an army of blazes. So without further ado, let's set the battle, bring down the walls, and yes, the battle spawning in. Oh my god, one mutant creeper is already heading straight into action. What was that jump? And oh my god, their bodies are so big. When they get set on fire, the fire is huge as well. And hold on, are those tiny little minion creepers? Oh, they're so cute. And they blow up too. They do a lot of damage. And oh my god, look at the mutant creepers jumping around. And they have barely taken any damage yet. And I think this one's about to blow. And boom. And oh my god. But the blazes are flying up a little bit. So maybe some of these guys can do some range damage onto the mutant creepers. But guys, it doesn't seem like the mutant creepers are taking any damage right now. And the blazes are being completely obliterated by these explosions. Oh my god. This creeper is literally going crazy and another jump and boom. Oh my god. That is so good And this one is literally summoning more little baby creepers. Yes, look at the minion creepers blow up I think they're about to blow and boom and it knocked all of the blaze towards this creeper who's about to blow as well Oh my god more tiny little minion creepers. This is so cute And hey, why are you attacking your own babies? That's not nice and okay Let's go back into the battle and these blazes are getting completely Completely wiped out right now more than half of them are gone and literally all the creepers are alive with so much health left And oh my god, this creeper doesn't even care about the battle at this point It's just making its babies and killing them all over again. That's a little weird and come on There's still a few more blazes left that need to be clear out and the creepers are just distracted with their own babies They don't even care about the blazes. They're too weak for them And I think that one's going for more blazes as well And yeah, this blaze just it just saw its comrades dying and it just gave Gave up on its life. Yeah, there's no chance for you guys. I'm sorry. And guys, there's only two blazes alive, and I think the creepers just lost complete interest in them. They're just doing their own thing. So, since they're all healthy and alive, 
five, I think it's pretty safe to say that the mutant creepers destroyed this one. Oh my god, stop hitting your own children. That's so weird. Why does it just make its children and then stomp on them right after? That is such a weird thing that the creepers do. And they're all healed up. And so the mutant creepers completely destroyed this one. On to the next round. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fifth and final round of Ranky's Mob Battles. Today, for this round, we're gonna have one, two, three, four mutant skeleton archers, while on the other hand, we're gonna have a bunch of pigmen brutes. Oh my god, look at them with their axes. They probably deal so much damage. This is gonna be a close one, I can already tell. So, let's assign the teams, and looks like everyone's angry. Let the battle begin. And the mutant skeletons are already firing the arrows, and oh my god, it's losing its health so quickly. Wait, I think this was already gone, and oh my god, it literally exploded into pieces. Wait, wait, the mutant skeletons literally don't stand a single chance. Wait, hold on. I didn't think this would be such an unfair fight. Hold on. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Some, spawn more skeletons. Spawn more skeletons. Oh my god. this is. I didn't think this would be such a one-sided fight. Let's see if we can get more mutant skeletons and see who will win now. Technically, the Picklins won, but we need to see what will happen now. And yes, the fight has already started on this side. Oh my god. The skeletons are taking so much damage, but the arrows are literally one-shotting them and oh my god, it jumped and it just killed so many at once. Come on, Mr. Mutant Skeleton, and no, it exploded again, but it already did a lot of damage. This one's fighting a bunch of zombies, too. Come on, charge up your arrow, and jump, and boom. Oh my god, it literally sent that one flying. No way. And, huh, this guy's just chilling, not doing anything. That's weird. But come on, guys, you guys have to keep fighting. There's still so many of you left. Maybe I spawned a little too many zombies, but, yeah, I feel like at this point, most of them have lost motivation to fight, but but guys, look at all the remains of the skeletons on the floor. You can see its arms. You can see some of its armor. Maybe we could even find a head. Yes, there it is. There's the remains of the skeleton. And if we can dig it up, yeah, it's literally just gonna plop on the floor. Oh my god, this is so sad. It's almost like a bony wasteland now. But guys, since the piglins did win the beginning, they're gonna take the round for this one. But overall, the mutant mobs did have more wins, so the mutant mobs win. In. Let's go. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the videos that are on your screen right now. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!